Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nexus. In Heroes of the Storm is yet again another huge patch day where we have another hero added to the roster, a couple of talent reworks, balance changes, so on and so forth. And today we're going to be taking a look at the newest hero, the fifth hero to be brought over from Overwatch, D.Va, Mecha Pilot. Hana Song, also known as D.Va, is both a world champion professional gamer from StarCraft, from what I understand, and a burgeoning global icon. As a member of South Korea's elite mecha unit, she fights to protect her homeland from the colossal omnic threat lurking within the East China Sea. Lore from Overwatch, since we never actually get it in the game. It's amazing how Heroes of the Storm actually gives us more lore on these characters than Overwatch does. The game that they're from. But anyway, that's a that's a little personal issue, issue from me uh, regarding uh, how Blizzard has handled Overwatch's lore. But anyway, yes, D.Va has now made her way into the Nexus in, o in Heroes of the Storm. This is her basic look, as you can see. With her in her pilot mode, I love that Blizzard is the, the Blizzard logo is there on the side of the mech. This is her uh, mech here that she uses. Good to know that South Korea will be able to have these in the future, and we'll be able to help have her uh, help them out. These are the color tints for this basic skin here. This is Goliath Diva. It's supposed to be a play on the StarCraft Goliath, but. I mean, honestly, I'm not really seeing much of the the actual Goliath from StarCraft in here. I get what they're going for, but I've played StarCraft too much to be like, that doesn't look like a Goliath. Look, Goliath looks different than that. Although I will say I like this version here, Shark Mouth. Look at that. It's kind of like how um, in the Air Force uh, they will put like these kind of decorations uh, or decals and things like that, like on the planes or on the jets. Um, you know things like that. I've seen I've seen planes with like you know sh like teeth or you know animal mouths like on the front of the plane or such. So I like that. That's kind of what it's going for. I kind of like I like that design. This is Pro Diva. This would have been called her Master Skin, kind of a uh, upgrade from the baseline one. Competitive Pro Diva, Elite Pro Diva. I like how they're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to bring uh, the esports portion in here with Diva, of course. So what is she like? She is a ranged warrior. I believe the only other character in the game that has that description is Rexar. Um, in Overwatch, she is one of the tank type of characters. Um, now, I will personally admit that D.Va is not really one of those characters that I grew to really uh, enjoy playing. Uh, of all the warriors in Overwatch, the one that I enjoyed playing the most was Winston, uh, as well as Reinhardt. Um, I wasn't really much of a D.Va player, um, but I wasn't really much of a Tracer player in Overwatch either, but I grew to absolutely love Tracer here in Heroes, and I'm hoping that's going to be the same case here in Heroes with D.Va. So what is our, what is her kit? What is, what is her kit like? Well, she has boosters, of course that's an ability, because she does not have a mount when she's in her mech mode. She only has a mount when she's in her pilot mode. Uh, for those of you who don't know, her passive is that uh, her mech mode, when D.Va's mech dies, she is ejected after 0.75 seconds and can continue to fight. D.Va's mech only rewards 50% of a normal hero's experience upon dying. So that's the thing, is that if you destroy her mech, she still stays alive by running around in pilot mode. Same thing in Overwatch, and then after a while, if she is able to do some damage with her pistol, or just stay alive long enough, she can just call her mech back down and get her uh, full tank health back, pretty much. Uh, which is one of the things that, if you're a really good D.Va player, you could technically never die, but it's rare uh, when... Uh, people are so good with D.Va that uh, no one can ever kill them when they're in their pilot mode. Um, so one of the ways she gets around when she's in her mech is to use boosters. Uh, and she can't be slow while boosters are active, so she, she becomes uh, almost unstoppable, I guess. Her W is Defense Matrix. Channels a defensive field in the target direction for 3 seconds, reducing the damage dealt by enemy heroes inside it by 75%. The mech can move while channeling, but cannot turn. Damage dealt to the mech from enemies within Defense Matrix still grants the same amount of self-destruct charge. 
um, a nice damage mitigator. It's got a little, a few issues though, as you can see there. It says that you can move what you can't, but you can't turn. It's not really that big. It's a little different though here in Heroes compared to how it was in Overwatch, because in Overwatch it's pretty much like just in front of you. Um, so it's different in that regard. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to turn that down. I realized I was just testing the audio uh, for my headphones and for the recording, and I forgot to test it down, turn it down for this. So sorry if Diva has been um, interrupting or drowning what I've been saying. Uh, her E ability is self destruct. This is interesting. This is this is her ultimate ability in Overwatch, but in this uh, game, it's her E ability and not one of her heroics. Eject from the next, setting it to self-destruct over after 4 seconds, dealing 400 to 1200 damage in a large area, depending on distance from center. Only deals 50% damage against structures, gain 1% charge for every 2 seconds spent basic attacking, and 30% per 100% of the mech health lost. Hope you guys got that, got that down there. Um, so yeah, in Overwatch, it's one of the most annoying, overpowered ultimates in the game. Um, especially if you're trying to get away when you hear nerf this and then you're like, ah, I gotta get behind cover. And then you get what you think is behind cover and then it still kills you. Just instant kills you. Even if you're a warrior, it's, uh, it's, it's a really annoying ability to deal with, but, uh, it's going to be a little, uh, from what I've seen, it's going to be a little easier to be able to try and uh, deal with that because you can just see the radius as opposed to it just being having this ridiculous range in overwatch. But anyway. That is her E ability instead of her rooks. What are her rooks, though? This is hilarious. The, the community really just kind of, like, had a hilarious reaction to this. One of her heroics, while she's in her mech, is Bunny Hop. She becomes unstoppable, and she stomps every half a second, dealing 60 damage and slowing enemies by 40%. It lasts four seconds. This is one of her emotes in Overwatch. Not a ability or a heroic. So the fact that this became a heroic in Heroes, the community was like, what? Really? So I just thought it was really funny when I heard that this emote became a heroic. And it's not a bad heroic, though. Her other one is for her pilot mode. It's Big Shot. Uh, it has a four-second cooldown. Deal 250 damage to all enemies in a line. The cooldown of Calmac is reduced by eight seconds for each enemy hero hit. Requires pilot mode. So that's her base kit. What is her talent tree like? Well, here you've got uh, three different ones for her boosters. Um, reduces the booster cooldown if used out of combat. Uh, if it neither takes or deals damage, its cooldown is lowered by five seconds. So you can kind of be able to somewhat um, spam her boosters to get around the map if you want. Um, boosters give extra immediate speed and then decays to the normal speed out you know over a little bit uh damage enemy heroes with boosters after damaging 25 heroes each use of boosters lowers its cooldown by one second per hero hit pro moves diva's mech gains two percent move speed for one second every time that it takes damage up to 30 percent so if you're in the heat of a battle or taking damage you could use this to either get away or if you're actually taking damage while chasing someone you could use this to catch up so i actually like that most Level 4, Diverting Power. Increased Defense Matrix Size, but can't move. There is, uh, you know, give and take with this. I've seen Pally Time, like, uh, show that it can be kind of useful, um, depending on, of course, the circumstances around, uh, you know, team compositions, map, things like that. Uh, increase the duration of Defense Matrix by 3 seconds. Uh, every time an enemy hero deals damage while inside Defense Matrix... Her self-destruct charge is increased by 1%. Self-destruct charge amount gained from losing mech health is increased by 30%. Uh, in the knockback dam distance of boosters is increased by 100%. Defense matrix slows. Basic attacks lower the defense matrix cooldown. Increase the self-destruct timer and damage. But, yeah, I mean, it'll increase the, you know, the time before it detonates by 3 seconds. But... I mean, and it does increase the damage, but that gives the enemy seven seconds to get away from this. It gives them seven seconds to clear away from the self-destruct. So it kind of feels like you're not going to get any value out of this because in what situation is it going to take you know 
our, our hero's not going to be able to get away from that in seven seconds. It's a good way for thing for zoning, I think. Um, I suppose you could possibly find value for this uh, in certain situations like Infernal Shrines at the objective, but it seems to me it may not get that much value because it's going to be very rare when someone cannot get out of the way of a self-destruct in seven seconds. There are the alts, level 13. Uh, increase the mech health by 20%, but also increase the cooldown of call mech by 15 seconds. This doesn't decrease the amount of self-destruct charge gained. It gains a shield instead of dying. Takes less damage from weak attacks. Level 16, dash as a pilot. Uh, good game, well played. I like the names of some of these ones. Increase the pilot damage and takedowns refresh mech. Increase pilot mode basic attack damage by 75% participating in a takedown while in pilot mode instantly refreshes the cooldown of call mech. That is a really good talent. Uh, for four seconds, they're ejecting, gains 50 armor and basic attacks. That's good if you want to be able to try and have a better shot at staying alive in pilot mode instead of getting immediately ganked and killed. Basic attacks have 20% increased range and slow movement speed. Level 20, we've got bunny hop damage is increased if you remain stationary. Pew, 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 big shot fires multiple pulses, three shots over half a second. Concussive pulse, knock back enemies as a pilot. Mecha fall, calm mech is instant and targetable and damages enemies. So, I'm kind of been leaning towards what I've been uh, seeing in PTR because I did kind of check her out in PTR. Plus, I've been also seeing other people talk about her, like Grubby and Pally Time. Uh, I like pro moves. Um, I I kind of like either get through this or diverting power, either one. Uh, level seven, either Dazer Zone or aggressive aggression matrix. Bunny hop, expensive plating, good game well played, and then Mecha Fall. That is a mech-heavy uh, build, so let's check it out in action. Actually, hold on a second. Let me check my loadout here. That's pretty much like the only skin we can do. Let's go ahead and do that one. That's not bad, that all red one there. This is where I can choose a mount for her to ride when she... Let's go with that to match her mech. Uh, while she is in pilot mode, not when she's in mech mode, obviously. Uh, let's give her this one, the Officer Diva banner that I got from this past week. Here we go, Officer Diva badge. Very nice. Ah, they added the two new announcers to the game, Diva and Genji. I do have shards, but I'm actually saving those to get a special legend specific legendary skin. So I'm going to hold off on getting that. So for now, let's uh, let's see. Who are we going to have her be her announcer? Let's go with Lily. There we go. And all she has is love, love Diva. Whoop. Oh, whoops. Hold on. You guys probably may not have heard that. Let me... Actually, I think you may... Yeah. It's probably just a level in my headphones, so... Alright, let's check out D.Va in action. Of course, now we'll be able to run a five-man Overwatch team here in Heroes. And it's a well-rounded company. Think about it. D.Va, Tracer... Genji, Lucio, and Zarya. That's not a bad composition. That's two warriors, uh, one healer, and two assassins. It's not a bad composition. I'm sure some people are going to want to run that just because. Oh, look at this. They updated this in this patch so it will actually show the actual level. Thank you, Blizzard. It, it drove me nuts that it was just the color and then like 96 there and no one could tell what the person's actual level was. Now you can see who this, what this person's actual player level is. That is much, much better. Thank you, Blizzard. Okay, 
Oh, and Tomb of the Spider Queen is back. Oh, thank you. I cannot tell you how much I have missed some of these maps. We were stuck playing the same six maps ever since Genji went live and 2.0 went live. Now, today, with this uh, patch, the D.Va patch, they've expanded the map rotation to nine maps. Thank God for that. Oh, man, I cannot tell you guys how much I was just getting sick of the same six maps over and over and every a lot of other people agreed and felt the same way all right so we have diva Rhaegar, gaslo cassia and Greymane versus stitches ragnaros medivh ariel and falstad Uh oh I'll try and save you guys low. Oh, and look at this. I can move while attacking, just like Tracer. Ah! Oh, see, now I have to run away. Because I'm in pilot mode. Boom, 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 boom. But you know what? She has really fast attacks and it does decent damage. Ah! Silly AI. It's not like I and it's not like I love this map or anything, but after a while you start to miss certain maps when when they are like taken out of a rotation. to do actually uh, let's go with diverting power just so I can show you guys how big it is now look at this so yeah I can't move but look at how much bigger it is now so if they are gonna be working on pushing here i can be able to use that big field to try and pre you know pre prevent them from causing too much damage to our gates and such oh i can press uh q to manually stop it if i want Gonna have to get, get remind myself and get used to the fact that I can be able to move while attacking with her. Woo! There we go. for my highlight reel. Thanks, Lily. You're on a roll! Ah. This may have been a bad idea. that actually uh, takes away damage from the fort. I 
I will protect you guys, though. All right, now we need to run. Oh, and by the way, they took away the fact that the camera will snap back to here when I hearth back there, which is fantastic. That drove me nuts sometimes. Gonna go with Bunny Hop. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just gonna keep walking with you, Rag. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> Woo! I can already tell that is gonna be annoying to deal with on the, when I'm on the other side. Uh huh. And I can't manually stop it. You saw there, I was able to. I just pressed Q again and I stopped the boosters. So I can manually stop it even while I'm going. And I can also use that when I use self destruct as well. Maybe I'll try and show you guys that. 91% till the next self, you know, self destruct charge, so. All right, let's see. Boost, and then there we go. Fort destroyed. No, you don't fall, sad. GG. <laughs> Yeah, Diva's got some uh, some taunts and such. Like, oh, speaking of which, this in the mech, this is her dance. Kind of cute. This is her taunt. <laughs> Best taunt in the game. She does a heart and she says, "Are you Bronze League?" I right, got the health boost there. It is over for now. Got my spray there. Love Diva. <laughs> get good or get wrecked. Yeah, she's got some good taunts here. Taunts that a lot of us like can very much relate to. It's all gamer talk, and I just love it. I think it's why a lot of people just love Diva's character, because we, because she said things that we all relate to, pretty much. Boom! 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 Ah! Now I can't obviously attack and move while I'm in pilot mode. Rhaegar, why didn't you? Oh well, now I'm on my mount. Wee! Oh, the keep's already down in bottom lane. We already have catapults there. I'm gonna go up here. This will help reduce the cooldown of the mech. wave clear you, you do kind of have to aim it a bit but it's not bad 96% huh I've got your back guys low Lily, 
you are too cute. Not bad, not bad at all. There we go. Nerf this. Oh, you can actually hold off on calling the mech if you want. If you want to, like, get on a mountain, get across the map, and then call the mech in, you can do that. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to show you guys, uh... I forgot to show you guys this, how, the different taunts or dance uh, in pilot mode. Boing, 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 boing. All right, here we go. We're back in pilot mode. So let's see. This is our dance. Kind of cute. Taunt. It's all right. All right, so the web weavers are on the core. Let's go up here and help this web weaver get this keep. Nice stun, Ariel. Oh, that is too cute. Ooh, look at this. They've also updated this, as you can see. See damage, two damage, healing, shielding, damage taken, XP contribution. They've really tried to update this to be able to see, like... Like, for example, now you can see Medivh's healing or shielding. That's pretty good. So now, like, for Varian, you can actually see how much damage he's taken if he goes to Taunt. Alright, so... I like D.Va. I like her, uh... What she brings to the kit. I don't know if she's capable of being a... Solo tank warrior, like a Johanna. Or an ETC. Or an Arthas. She might be better suited as a bruiser because even though she does have some things here in her kit like expensive plating to be able to kind of help stay in her mech. Um, and she does have some damage mitigation with defense matrix. I think she might be better suited off as a second off warrior like a bruiser instead of a, a solo warrior tank. But I could be completely wrong on that. I mean, she doesn't have um, an ult that um, has crowd control, like a stun. I mean, yes, she does have an area of effect slow, but that is unstoppable. But I don't know if this would be considered uh, a top-notch tank ult here that you would want. Like, when you look at the warriors in the game here... Anubrek did just get nerfed, though, I think. So, um, I think we may have seen the end to the current stretch of Solo Warrior Anubrek tank, which I didn't really find that great anyway. Um, Muradin is still considered a top uh, good... Well, maybe not a top pick, but a good solid Solo Warrior tank pick. Um, sadly, Dahaka got a couple of changes that just broke my heart. Um... 
and it may be the end of a good run with the Haka, but um, Diablo is still a pretty good solid pick. ETC, I think, is still a good, pretty good solid pick. Arthas is still, right now, probably the top uh, warrior in the game. Um, the Orc is still a good solid pick. Johanna is. Varian Taunt, even though his parry build got nerfed, um, he's still a good solid uh, pick. So, I think Diva is going to fall more in line with Artanis, Tyrael, Sonya, Dehaka. Stitches is kind of a, a back and forth. You can play him either way. Um, Chen is also kind of like you could play him either way, I think, sort of. Um, I mean, I'll have to wait and see. I think... I just don't really see that much here in her kit that I think warrants her being a, a tanky warrior like a Johanna, Muradin, ETC, Arthas. I think she's better suited to be a damage-dealing bruiser. So, but that's just my initial impressions. Obviously, over the course of time, that could change. Uh, seeing how people embrace her and play her. We'll have to wait and see. So, that's D.Va, everybody, in... Heroes of the Storm. I already like her a bit more in Heroes than I did in Overwatch. So that's the newest hero. There were a couple of reworks, though, that happened with this patch, which I'm going to be going over. And that is Toronda and Alarak. And we'll probably be taking a look at my favorite High Lord of the Taldarim when we come back. Stay tuned.